these women were picked to be dancers on that show on Prime, like Lizzo's big, Fat Lady big Girls, gir girls, something like that. And it doesn't surprise me that now these women have problem retaining their employment because... Oh, this is getting crazy. Dude, I'm about to say some shit. Because as a fat person, you're mentally weak. You're incapable. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fat. I'm saying this about myself. I, As a fat person, you're incapable of winning the battle with yourself and your mind every day. The food wins. And so, therefore, you're a worse employee. You're not as effective as a person. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I'm clinically obese. Day 93 under the dome. With necessities growing dangerously low, who knows what spark will set off this powder keg. I can't take another minute in this dome! <laughs> Welcome back, Dome with Banfomania, folks. The world's greatest freestyle rap comedy podcast. I'm David. Alex is with me. And another Alex. Alex Bass, a.k.a. Bossa Nova Beats. What's up, dude? What up? How's it going? He's giving out his government name. I mean, <laughs> that's... I didn't... Do you, you want me to bleep that out? No, it's okay. I actually He's like, got ops that are after him. Yeah. I like for people to <laughs> yeah, have the, the context so that they know how to pronounce the name because otherwise it's Basanova or something That's a good point, else. yeah. It's funny, the the last song that I dropped, there's a line about sea bass, and you texted me about it. You were like, yo, the sea bass line. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a reference to our boy, or were, were you just no, hungry just the, for fish? Just the fish. Oh, okay. You know, I'm a, I'm a fish eater. Yeah, um, it's kosher, right? I hung out with <laughs> I hung out with Bass at, at, in Venice Beach last week because he fucking him and him and Razor had a nice little live performance that I missed because I was haggling for parking. First dude was like forty bucks for the day. I was like, get the fuck out of here, dude! But I ended up paying twenty five and didn't realize that I could have just valeted at that place. That sucks. I'm a fucking idiot. You should have told me, dog. Yeah, it's okay. That's I didn't. I didn't really know until I got there. But you know, hopefully we'll have wow, plenty okay. more shows. Showing up to uh, a, a concert that you like your friend's concert that you really only are there to show up for your friend and then missing your friend is yeah. that's kind of a vibe. I think. Yeah, <laughs> that's I mean, like some bad luck Brian shit. Part of it was I thought it started at two thirty, and then I realized it started at two, so I'm already thirty minutes late, and then I'm fucking missing on the parking and they did like what six songs like by the time i got there it was well over but you could still feel the energy everybody <laughs> was fuck. both of their families were there yeah it was a it was a family affair like oh. razor's mom oh. and, and his brother and well it seemed like a my cool parents venue. were there everything yeah. that i saw from it looked like a cool spot like that was that, yeah that was yeah no it's a cool place and also like just walking around venice beach is a shit show you're you're just people watching and it's an, it's it's just very overstimulating. Our families would never support something like that. My sister's gone to a show. That's it. Uh, yeah, you're right. She did go to one. That was, uh... And there's a line <laughs> in the in the, in one of the songs where I say my uh, my sister say I'm down for whatever. And my sister was in the front row, and I was like reaching and dapping her out, and it was you know cool something to talk about. Uh, that was way back when I was spitting raps on stage. And then I would randomly go into a rage. Those were the days back when David's sister was over in the audience and then I kissed her. But David didn't see and this is how I'm revealing this to him and I just want to apologize, G. My family coming to the show to support and I gotta have the flow. It's a sport. Whoa. I do it and I do it playing it like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, my family at the show Uh, yeah, ain't nobody ever know That I'm the illest dude with the flows And then, uh, I drink something and I start to glow I drink something and I start to glow Pure uranium, yeah, you know I'm Homer Simpson on the beat, my friend And then when I do this, it's not discreet, my friend And then I have to go get something to eat, my friend Dude, when we went to the li to your listening party with Razor He kept on saying Yo, Bass did every beat, every beat by Bass, and that's like this episode. Bass did every beat. It's a collaborative project. Yeah, it was so funny you don't because have to keep shouting him out. He said it like six or seven times, and then after a while, I was like, "Oh, um, he's gonna keep doing that." So I was like, <laughs> "I was like, 
who did the beat? And he was like, yo, I said it. They're all my best. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Razor, go listen to that episode. But yeah, uh, that um, that that live energy is unlike anything. Like once you get done doing a thing, and then you get like some positive feedback from people. I get why people. I that's why comedy is like something that people love to do because all you need is one successful opportunity of doing it, and you're like, oh, this is the best. Whereas doing music is is a little bit more complicated. Getting people to allow you to get on stage. What Stop. I love about Razor is that he's truly an MC. Like he knows how to command a crowd. He doesn't just come out and rap. He comes out and he lets you know the context. Like this is the type of music I make. You're not going to hear some radio shit. You're going to hear he's some a marketer. old school like ghost face type shit. Like he sets the stage, lets people know this is what you're going to hear. This is the vibe. This is my boy Bass. He made the beats and... It yeah, makes yeah. my life a lot easier because I'm not yeah, yeah. I'm not at that stage yet. I, yeah, because yeah. you're like putting your hat down, like looking at the floor. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've I've spit a couple verses now of of my one verse on the album, and and doing that live is like a huge step for me. I never really did anything before. Well, it's we cool is that you know together. it by heart, so you're not gonna. There's no. It's it's easy. You've already practiced it a thousand times. Yeah. So once you get past that first two bars, you're like in the zone. Yeah, well, you have you haven't even had the opportunity to forget your bars on stage. Now that's a vibe. <laughs> oh that's a, when you're rapping and you have to improvise. That's when you're too turned up because you've been at the venue for six hours before the show starts. I uh, I caught a live show this week. Um, I was at work, and I walked in on a female coworker taking a shit. No way. And uh, that's awesome. Mm, the thing is, <laughs> what's see, awesome to hear about? You it. see that on TV, and, and like it's like a thing that guys are into or whatever. Like pervs are creeping on chicks going to the bathroom. It, it the visual of it, it is not arousing whatsoever. Well, there wasn't confirmation that she was shitting, right? She was just sitting. Yeah, yeah right. It could it could have been either way, but I'm trying to make it as le less at least attractive yeah, as possible. Yeah. The shit is, yeah. for some reason, that's worse. For all we know, <laughs> she was shitting. But I was almost upset. First of all, the door locks. You know what I mean? Like, why are you fucking going to the bathroom no, at yeah, work yeah. and not locking I, the door? I straight up be triple locking doors. I'm going to lock. Did I lock it? I get up. Fucking pants are still down. I'm like, did I lock it? It was. I it, double check. It was kind of that, like, you ever been driving and then, like, a pedestrian who's just an idiot, not paying attention, just decides to almost suicide themselves. Yeah. Using <laughs> your car. It's 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 that level of pissed I am. I'm like, what, what are you doing, man? Yeah. I'm like, I ain't, yo, I ain't trying to get kicked out my job. No, no, that wouldn't be it. That would not be lit. Call HR because this dude just caught me taking a shit. Yo, it wouldn't be lit if I had to quit because I just saw Denise shit. Yeah, it's not it. I'm not into it, but some dudes, you don't know, they might be. Why are you going in the bathroom with the door Why? unlocked? Mm -hmm. You just trying to get caught. Yeah. Now you're blocked on my social media. <laughs> I don't want to see you. Yo, that was some gross stuff that I walked in on. And now I'm embarrassed and you're embarrassed. And we got to spend the rest of the day avoiding eye contact. This is scary. Am I going to get fired tomorrow, Barry? Avoiding eye contact is not whack. If you just saw a lady who shat in the bathroom or the laundry mat. Whoa, uh, I keep going with the flows Cause it's about to fade I'm faded as yesterday uh. But yeah, there was there was, there was was a level of where it was like like it, it's you're, you're, you're pissed because, you know It's like you feel like you've done something wrong right. On accident It's her fault Right <laughs> And I'm just like, fucking get your shit together, lady Lock the door I'm, I'm over here trying to be a pure man She's like, I am getting my shit together <laughs> Oh, man Um <laughs> Was there an outside of the restroom recap or did it end there? And like uh, it was awkward because I was like, there's first of all, I, I wasn't sure if she even knew about the lock because it's one of those button locks. Because uh -oh. usually that's just I don't a like thing those. that you twist, but there's a button sometimes. You can't test those from the inside. And Who apologizes in that situation? Is, is it, I'm sorry uh, I, I saw something I didn't want to see? Or I mean, I definitely I'm apologize. sorry that I put you in that position where... where. <laughs> she, she claimed that she locked it, but here was the thing. like I did the like courtesy knock thing, but the knock is what swung the door open. You know what I mean? So oh. it was just like, Tink, and then I'm just seeing everything. I'm like, oh, sorry. Are you knocking like the DEA? What the fuck? Dude, you're like... Dun, dun, <laughs> no, it's literally... Literally just a knuckle, and that and that shit flew open. 
Damn, and then it was dude. just all all the glory, and I was just like, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Now that image is burned into my Did skull. Did you find her attractive with clothes? Not necessarily. It's, uh, I wouldn't, and even if I did, I wouldn't comment on it in a public forum. But you, oh, because she listens to this podcast. Well, I don't know. You never know. Maybe one day she will. What I I'm hope, saying is, crossed. what I'm saying is, is it something where you were at a positive level of attraction, not zero? Above zero level of attraction. And then because of the incident, it went to negative. Because there are some women that I could walk in on them shitting and I'd be like, still, I'm still good. I'm still into this. I, I've never actually tried to... You're asking me to now put my coworkers into this box of, of attraction that I I don't approach the world at on a daily basis that, that like you do, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, like me, you're right. You have this, what is it, one out of ten scale for everyone you see? I think a lot of people have that. It's a very common scale that people use to... Well, you'd have to give me a second. I have to switch gears here because, yes, I would say that like probably on the higher end of attractiveness, but no. It's a, it was a negative interaction, so therefore the scale drops. Really? Because if I walked in on Mila Kunis shitting, I'd be like, "That's still Mila Kunis." Uh, are then you, you can sure? Never, you can never not picture her shitting when you think about her after. I don't gotta focus on that. I, know, I, I don't know if you would. I think that that would change the dynamic of your relationship with Mila. Let's Kunis. say Mila, you meet you meet Mila Kunis at a bar, and you guys are banging for like three days because there's sparks are flying, and then on day four. You accidentally walk in on her shitting. That's a totally different scenario. You're having sex with her on a regular basis? I'm just saying, you know, like... It's, it's not like your coworker who you literally just sort of... Good morning and uh, see you tomorrow, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's not... You, you got to work on your allegorical scenarios here. No, no, it's you're right. It's a me thing. <laughs> what about what about Lizzo and her coworkers? How about that? And Alex. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know, I heard that she walked in on all of them taking a shit simultaneously and then shamed them for <laughs> how bad it smelled. Do you want to watch the video of the of the ladies that are suing Lizzo? Yeah, sure, why not? Is this the TMZ interview that, that uh, it's, tanked it's, their credibility or no, whatever? No, it's not TMZ. It's um, ABC News. Oh, my. We're going to get interrupted by a beat eventually. Oh, shit. The the fucking cable, dude. Hang on. I got to plug in my audio. I J J. Oh, God. It's done. Don't worry. <laughs> and there was an ad anyways, I guess. That you paused. I didn't mean to pause. <laughs> All right. We got to wait 26 seconds for the Amazon Prime ad. <laughs> Great. Why didn't you pay for abcnewgo.com so we wouldn't have to wait for the ads? Yo, I got that ABC News subscription. Yeah, ABC News is my addiction. Every single day I log on to ABC News and I see what they say about what is uh, new. ABC, uh, one, two, three. Yeah, you know I'm fucking ill as Mike when I'm speaking on the mic. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, about to like. I'm subscribed to way too many services. Yes. Hulu, Netflix, it makes me nervous. <laughs> I can't afford all these subscriptions. Watching the nonfiction and the fiction. I got subscription services that no one should ever have, like Peacock and Paramount and National Geograph. What the hell is going on? Boy, do the math. That's like 80 bucks a month and I ain't watching crap. Yeah, I'm not trying to be graphic on National Geographic. Okay. <laughs> Is it showing? What the hell is going on? There oh, here we go. we go. Damn, she looks uh, disgruntled. <laughs> she looks like her name could be disgruntled. What is going on? Am I too turned? Yeah, I'm turned up. You're you're up on here too. It looks like the. The app sucks. Like, whatever this website is might be fucking up. I watched it this morning. What oh, the man. We're going to have to rewatch an ad. No, maybe. no, I think that you, uh, it doesn't make you rewatch the ad. I was wrong. And uh, immediately yeah, I was yeah. proven to be wrong. Why do you even, why would you say such, that so confidently? <laughs> A lot of times, if you watch an ad and then you refresh, the, the website's like, no, no, we know you just watched one. But shouldn't we be hearing the ad right now? Well, I have this muted. 
Damn, dude. Okay, how about this? It's not on my end. What if I just look it up on YouTube? Are you sure it's not? You not just need to unplug that and replug it back in or some shit? Or ah, uh, maybe. This is anticlimactic. I know it's anticlimactic, <laughs> but we're gonna figure it out. Lizzo lawsuit. Law. ABC the lawsuit. The the suit of law. Oh, here we go. Here are the ladies. This is on the View. Huh? On the View. And eh, maybe the View. Three Whoopi. dancers who. Share very personal. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Was I pressured to touch environment? Spoke out this morning about what they say they experienced. There's a clip. Was I pressured to touch a new performer? Yes. Was I brought into a private meeting where I was kind of interrogated about my personal matters and ended up having to share very personal, personal things about myself regarding my weight? Yes. She actually balled up her fist like this to me. She started cracking her knuckles and she was like, you're so lucky that basically I'm not going to hit you. Her best friend who's also <laughs> had to who hasn't done that to a woman you know? <laughs> and physically hold her back from coming and hitting me so yes I, I do believe that if she wasn't held back by that dancer um she would have hit me these so, bitches are all lying they're lying on my girl lizzo that's what lizzo said i'm i'm not a fan and that's not cool how about I, this um i think that it they're currently not working there anymore two of them got fired and one of them quit shortly after. But here's my angle, and I'm allowed to say it because I'm clinically obese. Yes. On paper, I'm obese, so I can say this. No, no, no I agree. He says he goes on to say the N word. <laughs> 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 this is uh, this is not good for fat women. Like skinny bitches have been taking the hit for years. They've been getting called fat and been forced to touch nude performers and been like, oh yeah, if they weren't holding me back, I'd, like. Skinny ladies have been dealing with it and not saying a peep. Lizzo takes a chance on three fat ladies, and within a year, they're like, she Ooh. called me fat. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to hire a fat dancer again. You're ruining it for fat ladies. That is, Yeah, it's like when drunk drunk drivers ruining it, ruining it for all the yeah, good dude. drunk drivers. <laughs> and man. why are you taking it so personally from Lizzo? Like right. if an ugly person calls you ugly, it's like, Takes one to no one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like if no. Lizzo, if Lizzo's like, yo, here's the other issue. Sometimes you sign up for a certain tier of a fat person because they discuss how they. I don't know if they said it in detail, but you think Lizzo's trying to keep him at a, a certain fatness. Listen, like she saw him losing a, weight and was like, there's a tier of fat that people sign up for. Like when you start dating a lady, you talking she, about on OnlyFans. No, I'm this is something about, that you do. The, yeah, it's the category. Yo, what if they put the weight class next <laughs> yeah. to next to the BBWs? Like. 300 minus no no you start dating somebody for example and they weigh a certain amount and then you know as i like you, where this is going going they on. can increase maybe 10 pounds and you're like all right 10 pounds i'm okay with that 20 you know maybe some of its muscle okay there's a certain tier that you didn't sign up what for. if they've just <laughs> what if they just had a miscarriage today. Oh. You know, maybe they're depressed. Are you gonna may bay let them gain a little extra weight, my dude? Hey, dude. Post pregnancy is different. There's some leniency. It might be two or three months before we need to speak, you know, peeps. There's a certain amount of weight you sign up for. After that, you gotta hide the candy like Johnny Sachs. <laughs> Can't let her get in those stacks. I got Reese's in every single crease and crevice of the places because my baby is a little racist and obese. That's just how it is, yo. Can't get a single Reese's piece. Oh my God, my lady can't stop eating baby Snickers bars. She's taking it too far. And it's not what I signed up for. Far. Whore. Sorry, that's, that's trying to rhyme at the end. Just made a banger in like two seconds. That was a sick beat. So there's a oh, <laughs> who made that beat? <laughs> <laughs> who did that beat? Hey, hey, hey. Bassa Nova on every beat. Yeah. Um, Lizzo signed up for a certain tier of fat dancer, and then mm -hmm. the fat dancer on the off season. It's the thing. They're put always on. they're always doing all this dancing, <laughs> so of course they're gonna lose weight. What do you expect, Lizzo? She gained weight. She gained weight. Uh, that's a good. That's a good angle. No, she gained weight, and then they were like, "Listen, we signed up for you at one ninety six. 
we signed up for you be, uh, between 190 and 210. You're at 226 right now. Let's fucking cut back the carbs for a couple weeks and get back to business. There's a huge part of me that thinks that this is just like kind of, and this this is, I know, probably, uh, it's not a very sympathetic uh, standing point, but like this is kind of what you sign up for when you make your career a backup dancer for one of the biggest celebrities on the planet. Literally one of the physically biggest. Right. It's going to be the movie Neon Demon. You know what I mean? Like it's a dark world out there. And also and you're going to have to fucking deal with some dark ass shit, I feel. And also there's a, a misconception that oh, Lizzo's body body positive and all this shit, she's not going to shit on us. This is still show business, honey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what I was saying, but a little better. Yeah, you said it better. Con- I said it better. You, you said it better. You convinced yes. it. <laughs> oh my god! No, no, it is seriously like the message of the of the product that Lizzo is selling has nothing to do with how we run this business. You know what I'm saying? I'm still the millionaire superstar. I get to be a bitch to you, and you know, right? Like those, like. What do you? I wonder. Uh, do they think they're gonna get a, a job as a backup dancer for someone else? After, no, after exactly. they've done, after they've gone and tried to s- cancel Lizzo. Ariana's not hiring a bunch of no. thick ass ladies to dance for her now, just so that they can go and call her a home wrecker after right. the fact. Right. If you think Lizzo was mean to you about your weight, Ariana's not gonna be chill. I no, think no. the body shaming is an expected part of being a dancer, and happens at every level. Like, yes. Sammy was a dancer her whole life. My sister was a dancer in school, like hip hop dancer. Those teachers are abusive. They make girls yes. feel bad about themselves. And that's how you become great. Yeah, it's like that to movie motivate Whiplash. them. <laughs> to motivate them. I, Lizzo was basically J.K. Simmons in Whiplash. <laughs> I did read that she was also making them like do inappropriate dancing in the red light district. There was or apparently a, a, in Amsterdam that what she just said on the on the clip was yeah I guess the, at, after a show or something they all went to have some fun at a strip club in Amsterdam and she pressured one of them into touching like the penis of one of the performers and or she whatever. Ini- she initiated a dance, uh, not a dance, <laughs> a chant. She initiated a chant, and so everybody that was there was like saying the girl's name for her to touch the dancer. First off, obviously that seems like a little bit of pressure, but if y'all did that to me, I'd be like, I'll touch this guy's dick. That's one of those things where <laughs> if the, the roles were reversed, it would not be that big of a deal. Right, exactly. Sure. It's just like no one would even be talking about it. In fact, the person who brought it up would probably be bullied about it. Exactly. No, it's just you got fired from Lizzo, it's Lizzo's dance choreography group, and you're salty, and now you're trying to get a paycheck. Obviously, I'm not trying to victim shame right now. I wonder. They, there's no way for them to really get a paycheck. It's all no. It's, it's a just, lawsuit. It's, it's literally just oh, they're suing. Yeah, yeah, they're suing. What are they? What's the grounds of the lawsuit? Uh, they, like, like some type of workplace uh, harassment, se- uh. sexual assault, hostile work environment, and something else. But you know, Lizzo denied everything. And um, oh, I had one more angle. Fuck. Um, Lizzo's got a lot of angles. Yeah. <laughs> or lack thereof. Just, <laughs> You're right. She's a she's a spherical being. Um, <sighs> fuck! I had a good angle, dude. Um, well, let's, let's see if we can get it out of you. Uh, dancers, obese, disgruntled. They're upset. Oh, Lizzo, body shaming, violence threatened. Yo, I swear, if David gains any more weight. There's gonna be a problem and I'm gonna hate. I'm gonna take my fists and ball them up and come up to him and be like, lose some weight or get fucked up. There's a certain tier of sphere that I'm willing to keep near to my dear family. Uh, yeah, I use it handily. Uh, uh, Phil Hanley. Oh, I can't take the pressure in the red light. She made me do a gesture. Oof. Okay. Touching on that guy's privates. I don't think that I like it. (laughs) Yo, I'm forever traumatized from Lizzo because she made me touch a guy's little pizzo. Uh, I think that's a name for a penis I just made up on the spot. It's Italian. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. When I was a kid, I used to get bullied to school. Mm. Not because I wasn't, you know, skinny or cool. It's because I was a tool. I was rude to all my friends. I had to, you know, kind of figure out some... You went up to your friends and you were like, you've gained 10 pounds (laughs) since last week, Billy. Oh, oh, you're so to... lucky that I don't punch you in the face <laughs> right now. <laughs> it sounds like Lizzo was doing a bit. You know what I'm saying? Hold, hold my shirt. Oh. It is. That is. It seems like some Tim Robinson shit. Where yeah, you're yeah. just so lucky that I don't. I'm not gonna punch you right now. Here's what I don't understand. 
Um, oh, this is the angle, dude. Oh, my God. The Let's fucking go. fat gods have shunned their wisdom on me. <laughs> um, these women were picked to be dancers on that show on Prime, like Lizzo's big, Fat Lady girls, girl, girls, something like that. And basically, I'm certain that Lizzo sacrificed or compromised quality to make sure that she hired some fat people because well, it would help the brand. It was like, okay. Well, I mean, that was the whole point of the show. That's what I'm saying. Well, so I don't like, think there was a, a sacrifice. No, no. If, but, it's the whole, if it's the entire premise. But what I'm saying is it doesn't surprise me that now these women have problem retaining their employment. Like, they're not up to standard because... Oh, this is getting crazy. Dude, I'm about to say some shit. Because as a fat person, you're mentally weak. You're Ooh. uncapable. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fat. I'm Ooh. saying this about myself. I, As a fat person, you're incapable of winning the battle with yourself and your mind every day. The food wins. And so, therefore, you're a worse employee. You're not as effective as a person. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I'm clinically obese. No, David, David's been David's been very open about his struggles with obesity on the podcast, so we do have to respect his position on this. I honestly. feel like I'm allowed to say this. No, and here's the thing. Um, uh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> You agree with what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> um, though I've never experienced it myself. Though as someone who, you know, maybe enjoys the occasional drink a little too often, I think that maybe it's something similar with there, you know, like uh, at least with the food. There's more to it, though. With this not Being obese is more than just eating food. It's actually the, the best, um, like, problem to have because you're forced to deal with it. Like a, an alcoholic or a drug addict who still is maintaining their aesthetics – they can right. kind of they can kind of maintain the problem under the cahoots for a long time. Yeah. Whereas as a fat person, you're like, I need to deal with this now. Everybody can see me being the problem. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, can't see my feet. I'm just saying all it all we support fat people because they're people. And you know, you're like, you know what? I still like this person. And, this is, we're supposed to be talking about Lizzo here. You know, <laughs> we, that's what I'm saying. Lizzo's still like, oh, body positivity, all this shit. Any of those women lose weight, we're also happy for them. What are, we're what all are, like, oh my god, you figured it what out. What are we predicting here? Do you think that they're gonna get any money from this? Because I don't think they are. There's no, Lizzo doubled down and said, "Fuck these bitches." Yeah. And uh, the lawyer, uh, the attorney, wrote something that I read that was like, "There is no evidence of any hostile work environment. There's none of this shit." No, and and uh, that the interview you just showed was a little more damning. But I saw one that they did with TMZ where uh, they were basically talking about how it was like bad vibes hanging out around Lizzo. Yeah. It was, it was, we were always worried about our jobs, and it was like this thing where, okay, so there was never, they never once mentioned anything specific. It was just like the aura was off or whatever. So I think that their credibility isn't top notch. I don't expect like a bunch of 23-year-old girls to be like super mentally tough and persist through... Uh, a world tour where they have to dance every night. Like I'm sure it's stressful emotionally at 23. I probably would have been at some strip club getting pressured to touch the dancers too. You know what I'm saying? I can't really predict where I would have been or predict is the future, whatever. I can't say where I would have been, but I probably would have had mel multiple meltdowns and gained some weight. And you think that they like connived with each other? Like one of the ladies was the other lady, and they were like, "Yo, we both." Lizzo only gave us two Sundays instead of our usual three Sundays. Uh, should we maybe try and get a lawsuit going against this bitch, dude? What I'm saying that that sounds like exactly what happened, and it's probably the two who got fired, and then the one that like already didn't like her job and just left, but. You're at a strip club with your boss. Yeah. Your boss wasn't that bad. I get it. They're powerful. You felt pressured in, into, <laughs> yo, hanging out in situations, uh, because you were in a different nation, uh, and now you're looking for explanations about the behavior and segregation. Yo, uh. my boss is pretty cool. He takes me to the strip club after school. <laughs> At the one that has the pool And we play billiards and get lap dances All night acting the fool Yo, my boss is alright Getting lap dances at the club with my boss I throw up a coin toss 50-50, is it good, is it bad? I think this is the time I would've liked to have Is it good, is it bad? 
I wish I was at the club with my dad And yeah, that wouldn't be too bad Uh, but they ain't got no clubs in Baghdad They only got dudes who love Jihad Jihad at the club, it's a holy war Yeah, you know me, yeah, what the fuck is in store? Do they have a buffet? I gotta dance from a whore Uh, what do they call this place? Mecca Alright, that works Um <laughs> That's pretty good. Mecca, Mecca, Lecca, hi, Mecca, Heidi, Heidi, ho. R.I.P. to Paul Rubens. That's my rapper name, Lil Mecca. Lil Mecca, why? Oh, because of your little, Arab. Uh, well, and there's Lil Tecca. You've been to Mecca. No, no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to the Jewish what? Mecca. Which is what? Jerusalem. Jerusalem, if I ever get you. Actually, I think the I think the Muslims like Jerusalem also, don't they? Do you know about Muslims? <laughs> I was hoping you would know. I can't teach you about Muslims. <laughs> ah, no, I think the Muslims, the Christians, and the Jews like Jerusalem. I mean, you can't yeah, spell Jerusalem no. without I'll Jew. Take your word our, for it. our good Palestinian friend, his grandmother lives in Jerusalem. Holy and it shit. definitely has to do with the rights that you're allowed in Israel versus the rights that women are allowed in Arabic countries in the area. I feel like you should have. No, not you. Lil Dicky should have an album. And it's called Jerusalem, and it's spelled G E W. No, he should do one with uh, with um, uh, O T Genasis and call it Jerusalem Aleikum. Damn. <laughs> o T Genasis is a Muslim, right? Uh, I, I I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I was trying to pull a Muslim rapper. I should have gone with Kevin Gates. I don't know why I didn't just. just yeah, but he's fake Kevin Muslim. Gates. I feel like Kevin Gates is fake Muslim because these real Muslims. Bro, the, Kevin the, Gates is going to come for your fucking ass, bro. No, no, he does semen retention. He won't come. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just want to say that uh, we respect your religion, Kevin Gates. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Well, I'm not just saying him. Most people who are like secular and celebrities who then convert to something don't actually convert. Yeah, they, yeah. they want something to make them feel good, but then they're still being promiscuous and doing drugs. You never know because he's wearing like the headgear and stuff. That's like a little extra step. No, right? but then he's still doing the like dick all up in your stomach move at the events and shit. But he's got the headgear. No, but that's not the mind of a holy man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like religious people, they behave differently. Truly, people of faith. No, you're right. You're right. Um, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate. They're being all this fake ass religious shit, acting like you give a fuck about something. But in reality, you just need consolation emotionally. Mm. <laughs> I could use religion. I'm over here hating on fats and Muslims. Love is my religion. No, nah, dude, I'm, I'm uh, Rastafari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am um, Hail Selassie, bro. I had something else. You guys want to keep going? Do you guys have something else about Lizzo? To, you didn't really say much about Lizzo, Bass. I, 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 I ran out of things to say about okay. Lizzo. I wish, her, on. I wish her the best. I'm rooting for Lizzo. She can come back from this, and she will. And those dancers are trash, and they're going down. They're they're gonna they're gonna end up dead. I bet Lizzo knows people. Well, no, they're. I think both of them are. All three of them are diabetic, so they're. Oh yeah. They're right, they're right. <laughs> okay. All right. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> all right. Relax. Relax. Um. Opening the computer. The. You know what she needs to do? She needs to get my girl Azalea Banks to put a fucking curse on them. She's Muslim. <laughs> Maybe. Um. Did you guys hear about? Uh, I think this is old, but the Cardi B mic throw. Yes. Yes. That was kind of fun, although at the same time, it's like, why throw beer at, or, or whatever the fuck it was. At, yeah, have you seen the full video? Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's, there's video from the audience, too, which is kind of fun. So, like, the lady immediately starts apologizing. Right, but the whole video is, there's, there's literally Cardi and the DJ are like, yeah, th throw water at her, yeah. And then Cardi's, like, at one point bending over at one end of the stage, and people are, like, literally throwing, she says throw water at my pussy and then she says uh man that shit feel good and like it's going like this because it's hot as fuck in vegas but then she turns around and then this dude that's over here or this person that's over here that throws uh water at her or beer it or was hot oil it's it's it, <laughs> it was something that was in the cup but he doesn't get that cardi was just over there all excited about the water and that like six seconds later she's not and she's like okay right now i'm not a thought I was a thought on the other side of the stage, but now over here I'm gonna choose to behave. Uh, you know, in this hemisphere of the stage, I am not gonna be in a rage. I'm not gonna be, you know, acting a fool. I'm gonna be over here all classy and cool. 
She asked me throw water on the wop. Yeah. That got me feeling on top. Whoa. Cardi B, expeditiously. Mm. I wanna see that with me. Yeah, and where was offset? I don't know. My beliefs on this are a bit offset. Okay. Yeah, I'm upset. Okay. And yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I regret. Uh, yeah, so I'm in the audience and I'm getting some stitches in my fucking chin because I threw some water at Cardi B. I thought she was my friend, but oh, woe is me. Stitches in my. Oh, sorry. I just got jumped, forgot it was your turn. I, I yearn for a better time. I didn't have anything good in it. <laughs> Part of me was like, yeah, he doesn't want to jump in on this right now. Let me just take over. Part of me, Cardi B. Damn, dude, partying. Um, she's at the side of the stage. She's like, yeah. Fucking, uh, and she says the vulgar language. I don't want to say it again. It makes me feel weird. I agree, man. And then, <laughs> this is a fam- family show. If a guy's water around my pussy. <laughs> oh man, you're a dirty, dirty whore. So Jesus. she walks across the stage. Literally six seconds later, this dude's over here still being like, "Yeah, we're throwing water," and he like, yeah. chucks the chucks what's in his cup. It's which SpongeBob. It must. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob is in the audience. Um. And she immediately is like stunned, but it's because it hits her like in the face. Yeah, it kind of goes all over. It, it go- hits her in the face and, you know, she's got lashes glued onto her shit probably. Yeah. She's got the fucking weed. A lot of stuff glued. She's her got, dress is probably right, glued Right, her on. tits are glued. And um, then she just straight up chucks the mic, which it's kind of the funniest thing she could have done. It's, it's all she has in her arsenal. What well, else is she carrying? No, no. She it, can't like start picking off her fingernails and chucking them. If she wasn't, you know, wearing some expensive red bottoms, I think taking off the shoe and throwing it is pretty good. Like the dude she would have to throw both shoes. Yeah, but then she's got to take them she's, off the, one at the, the time. The, the microphone is an immediate weapon. She's yeah, already yeah. holding it. But that's much more dangerous. I feel like the shoe would have been would have been accepted I don't by think, society. I don't think she's worried about the danger. Fact. I think she was intending on murdering this person. That's insane. In public, you're being filmed. I, I think it was instinct that kind of took oh. over for her. And you can't take the you can't you can take the girl out the hood, but like, you can't yeah. take the hood out the girl. I get it. Yeah, yeah. It's like I'm gonna throw this shit at this. Oh bitch. yeah, yeah. Like, it's <laughs> self defense. So she could. She think. used to be a stripper. She yeah. probably had to do that shit a lot when oh. she was on stage at Magic right. City or whatever. Now that I'm thinking about it, what what more do we expect from fucking Cardi B? Yeah. Like this absolutely on brand. No, I think throwing shoes at people is hilarious. And maybe that's just because I'm a Middle Eastern man. It's a big sign of disrespect overseas if you throw a shoe at somebody, which is why the journalist back in 2003 or whatever threw a shoe at President Bush. That shit was hilarious to us. But the Arabs were like, wow, that guy went to prison. Yeah, he was hung. I don't know that. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know actually what happened to him. Now I kind of want to figure it out. But I know he got in trouble. He became the president of the country. (laughs) He was Saddam Hussein. (laughs) What happened to the dude that threw the shoe? Damn, you're spitting bars right now. What happened to the dude that that threw the shoe shoe. at George W. Bush too? He was the junior. His dad did it sooner. George W. Bush Sr. Was a boomer. Whoa. Dude. Can't help it. Damn, Sometimes. we don't even need the beats. Just made a banger in like two seconds. Uh, you know, you don't. You guys don't have to stop. Oh, talking and then that here's <laughs> the story could have ended there. Cardi's in Vegas. She throws the mic. Shit goes down. She throws a second mic that night. I'm pretty sure. No you guys way. know what I'm talking about? No way. That night she throws another mic. That's that's too many mics. Too many mics. I, it's like. Uh, have some respect for your AV people, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. Uh, the the dude that threw the shoe only got nine months of prison. That's 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 literally attempting to like I in America you get more than that right for trying to throw a shoe at the president. I feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, over there they were like give him nine months. None. Well, it was originally three years, but it was reduced to nine months. Um, three years that was probably scary, uh, but I I expected it to be like fifteen. Another video. Okay, so she's just a big fan of throwing the mics. Yeah, dude. Okay, here's the other one. Yep. This is a different show, though. This is her at the DJ. She's just, like, pissed that the DJ's playing, like, the wrong song or some shit. I don't get how I already have Amazon Prime and I shop on Amazon every week and I'm still having to watch Amazon ads. No, it's it's got to be the, it's this uh, ABC New York that you're on. You got to pay for them or some shit like that in order to not get ads. 
Come on, come on. Hang on. I guarantee you it's my fucking stupid ass VPN shit. Cyber Ghost. It's a cool name for a VPN. I'm not going to lie. It's better on desktop. Let's just say that. I don't think I think VPNs are all a scam to get our information. Yeah, this is um Yo. David's really dropping the ball. He can't load the news reports at all. He's on some website on his iPad and it's slowed to a crawl. Oh my god, we're not watching anything at all. Maybe something's going on with the internet. I pulled up the video and I'm regretting it. I wish I hadn't. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I want to see Tiffany Haddish. Uh, mess with me, I throw the mic twice, Ooh. not once. Have you looking like a dunce with the triangle hat? And you know, I don't play with that. I don't play with that. No, not once, not three or four. Yo, and if I was on ABC News, I'd watch more than what I'm watching now, which is the equivalent of nothing. Yo, we got to make it load and stop buffering. Imagine throwing two microphones while you're away from your home. Well, she was in Las Vegas, so it, Vegas got the best of her. Those sunglasses are insane. Scroll back up a bit. You think I could pull those off? Hell oh, yeah. yeah, dude. It looks like, uh, she, yeah, that's some like cyberpunk shit. She's got lenses on the side where she doesn't even need them. It's funny how people, the more famous they get, the crazier their fashion becomes. And well, it's because they want to look like otherworldly beings. They want to become demigods in the eyes of the normal humans. And that's what she's doing. Look at her. She looks like Nefertiti. I could walk in on her shitting. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I wouldn't be uh I wouldn't be like worried about getting fired, that's for sure. It wouldn't change my image of Cardi B to walk in on her shitting, but it would still change my image of Mila Kunis. It might okay. it might affect your relationship <laughs> indefinitely though. Cardi, I'd probably perceive more attractive at that point. I'd be, I'd like, be like, hey, what is more like Farty B, am I right? <laughs> Over your dang in a crap. Now Damn, throw a dude. mic at me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put a mic in my ass. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, man. That was that's not funny. Um, <laughs> even though you laughed. How am I gonna say it's not funny? Cardi B was performing her twenty seventeen hit Bodak Yellow in the clip when she gets a good dousing of liquid. Oh no, that's the other one. I wonder what song she was performing. Maybe she lost a lot of money. What maybe do you mean? She, maybe she like was in Vegas and then Oh, I see. I she see. lost a lot of money and then she was just like on edge. No, nah, I don't think that was I it. wish we could see this video. Um I'd let that news reporter throw a mic at me. Damn. <laughs> Cardi B throws mic two. <laughs> <laughs> the sequel. <laughs> 13 minutes. I don't know about that. Fucking Niobe Cannibal is going to make us watch this. Where's the other one? Oh, here's the other one. She, it's like, really rears back Cardi with B that mic throw, too. She Rihanna's gets some follow through there. Entertainment headlines. Yeah, we've been seeing it all over social oh, this media. Is her. And Cardi B's recent trip to Vegas. Brianna Buffalo. Ruffalo. Least. We're now learning, though, she threw her mic in frustration not once, but twice. Cut out. Whoa, this new video shows Cardi throwing her mic at her DJ while performing Saturday night. The person who took the video says the DJ kept cutting Cardi's song short. This all happened the same day she threw her mic at a fan who tossed a drink at her. You know, maybe she's not like a pleasant person. You know, maybe it's like, uh, maybe she doesn't treat people with respect. Bro, of course not. <laughs> That was an instant reaction too, like the first time. Yeah, she didn't even think for a second. Like yeah. maybe I'm gonna need this mic still to do the next song. Right. For all we know, they only have one mic. <laughs> you know what's funny? She could have just been like, "Whoa, chill, security, go get that dude." He fucked. And even then, that would have looked bad mm -hmm. because she just told everybody to splash her. Like yeah. she could. Like the only appropriate reaction would have been like, "All right, enough with the splashing." It's like when you let a kid fucking. While out, and then he takes it too far. You're like, all right, enough with the wiling out. I don't know. It's it's also one of those things where the people that are into Cardi B are, are there. This is this is a no, this is a mute point for them. It's like the same in the same way that like 
like a like Donald Trump can literally get yeah. indicted for rape. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. fans are like, it's fake. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. didn't happen. Blah blah blah. It's like there's some people that can do no wrong in people's eyes, and I got and Cardi B is one of those folks because she's had controversies in the past galore as well, and I don't think that it has affected her at all. It almost seems like like rappers in general are immune to be well, no, canceled the except, main, except for the baby the primary issue and even the baby's back the baby's not back really no no he's totally doing Didn't his he thing. change his name no it's still the baby oh he fucking was performing with 50 cent on his tour and he just like had like some several big events in las vegas like he's still getting the bag well, I'm not here trying to say that he's not getting a bag, but I he, love the baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the defense of the baby. No, um, the ah, shit. I'm losing it. I had something. What were we talking about before the baby? Cardi B. Cardi B. And we talked about Lizzo before. Can do no wrong. People Artists yeah, can do no. wrong. Oh, thank you, Bass. Um, the issue with cancellations and the reason they're a thing is because it's when people break character if you're a dick openly and then there's a video of you being a dick you're like yo i already told you that i was a fucking dick my name is dick and i i, I love dick yeah i never want to commit unless it's about something that involves me being a dick openly dick it's short for rich, Richard. Yeah. That's kind of weird, right? Whoever thought of that is kind of a dick. And I don't like them, yo. Why would you do that, you prick? Yo, why would you make everyone make fun of my friend? You can't fucking cancel me. I'm Dave Chappelle. Mm -hmm. I already told you how I felt. Mm -hmm. You know I don't believe in... Actually, I don't even want to say it, even if it's from Dave Chappelle's... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shout out, Dave. <laughs> if you want to see some controversial things, that even my boy Alex is not fond of saying Then you can go watch Dave's new special on Netflix Or the last three Because they're all the fucking same fucking thing He hates trans peeps <laughs> uh, I'm trying I'm trying to uh, Okay, let me keep going on, Yeah, keep going, keep going People cannot be canceled if they're openly shitty If you, like, You're not going to cancel the real housewives of fucking Des Moines Because they're all a bunch of cunts already yeah, you're But the, right. moment you, you, the moment you're like I'm a good person. And then they see you. It's not even, you don't even have to be a, uh, say you're a good person. If you're like, I'm a vegan. And then there's a, a paparazzi catches you eating Burger King. They're like, oh, look, he's not a vegan. You're automatically canceled. And then after that, it's too late. You can't be like, oh, no, it was an impossible whopper. It doesn't matter. You've already been tainted. And they've already, as soon as people perceive that you're faking it, a little bit and they're able to imagine you being an evil person behind the scenes that's it you're done it's mm -hmm. it's when you can't reinvest them in the illusion that is your persona but when you're a fucking piece of shit that's why travis scott can have a fucking event where people die and now he's just another album and it's charting it's definitely not doing as well as it would have been if he had handled that situation better. Right, have but you that, guys read these reviews about how he basically just has no soul and and no voice. And no, I yeah, haven't. Yeah, just, yeah. I've, I, all I've heard from the new Travis Scott shit is negative stuff. The beats are great, but everyone's saying like, yeah, he's just you know saying what ten other people had to ghostwrite for him. And right, but he already has like a really billion streams on. Spot. Oh yeah, it's it's like, like he's still like David is is speaking on a different yeah. parameter than what you're no, speaking. No, I, I, don't wrong, res right? I don't respect <laughs> no I don't respect Travis Scott as a hip hop artist. I'm just saying like uh, the people who consume that kind of music don't care if he's like a person with integrity. Like I don't know people. I know that Travis Scott before had some really fucking sick songs and it was uh, it's I was it was commendable, but I guess at this point the people who are still fans of Travis Scott don't give a shit about. I don't even blame Travis Scott for that shit. I I don't even think he should really be held responsible to the extent that he's sort of being held. He could have he could have been a little more sympathetic for sure, but it's also like, damn. I mean, that's it was obviously a fucking accident, right? Right. No, no, yeah, it's not. <laughs> but still, it's like. Uh, I don't know. It's, I I think that he's past his prime. Also, you know, no There's, the mu the music is dropped. It's it's one of those things where 
you got to keep it fresh. And and like Bass was saying, apparently the the beats are all like really fucking good. So he he's not compromising in that regard. But it's so easy just to just bullshit your way over a, a song, especially if the beat's already really fucking good. Right. Exactly. So, the that, tweet I saw is that he's not really saying anything, and he might sound good, but there's just kind of no point to what he's saying. Whereas you can listen to like something that Kanye made and like granted he's done a lot of cancelable cancelable yeah, shit. It's, it's another fallen which man is another right conversation. There. But you can listen to his music and he'll say a terrible pun with his whole chest and all his confidence and think it's the most yeah, clever thing he ever said. Yeah. Rather there's still, than listening to someone like you sound great, but you're just saying what other people wrote and No, I get it. Yeah. There's there's you can tell when there's some soul and there's some intention in what's being said. And, and I think it's, part of it is that it sounds like there should be soul and intention because of how good the music side of it is. Mm -hmm. And so the juxtaposition actually makes it worse. What if it was revealed that Travis Scott's album has been fully generated by AI? Well, that's that's the other thing I saw. Where people are saying we already have an AI artist. It's Travis Scott. That's so funny. <laughs> well, Maybe a lot, he's a robot. That's, that's how I feel about a lot of music that I hear nowadays. It does seem like... So much of it, I can't. It, I have trouble distinguishing voices from yeah. newer artists. Where I'm like, I don't know if this is fucking Ariana Grande or if this is fucking Camille Cabela or what, something like that. All, like, I, yeah, I don't yeah. know who this person is anymore. And I feel like there is some value in in being able to set yourself apart. No, yeah, it's that it's that fast food pop music or fast food rap music where it's just like we we just sound like a bunch of old heads. Right oh yeah, now. yeah, yeah. There's been a couple <laughs> weeks. That, there is good new shit out there. But, no, of you know, course. It's like that's well, it's just there's always going to be more bad shit than good, because there's more people attempting than successfully attempting, or not attempting. There's there's more people attempting than successfully like making good music that is iconic. Usually, it's just it it gets by and that's about it. Um, well, we're towards the latter half of this. Do you guys want to read about some incidents that occurred with this man and his friends and uh, some other things that are really personal things? Incidents. Yo, we're going to the Reddit vents. We're going to go and see what they said since last time we logged in. Yo, my fucking friends all exist on the interwebs and enter in. Searching on the world wide web uh -huh. uh, You know that I want to see with my friends Some Whoa. crazy shit on the internet YouTube and maybe some creepy pastas. Me and my lady being crazy Lately we've been posting things on the reddits uh, And people said that I said it But nah, I only fucking take a let it Reddit I need some damn karma, and afterwards I'm gonna go and eat some shawarma with my marma. Yes. And uh, maybe read some marma, Duke, in the newspaper, too. I'm sparking nice. the second blunt for this. Okay. I forgot the first one already. It's, been it's so long. It's somewhere. Um, so I actually have two Reddit things, but only one of them is right here. Um, okay, so this is from Am I the Asshole? So for all of those out there that are Redditors... This dude says, or this lady says, I live with my husband. She's 34. He's 37. Husband and daughter. My daughter and I recently went on a short trip out of state. Um, and we asked the husband to look after the dog. On the last day of our trip, we got a call from my husband who was acting distraught and said that our dog had run away. Our dog is quite small and mini poodle, 13 years old. She's still active, uh, but it's really unlikely to run away. Uh we were in grief, but we did not want to blame him. When we came back home, he seemed surprisingly okay. Ever since the pandemic, my husband started working from home, and he has always been annoyed at how much attention our dog got and begged to sit on our laps and his, and his while he worked. A few days later, we got a call from Animal Rescue in a neighboring state that they had found her. Um, I just read ahead, and this is insane. I told my <laughs> husband, and he just said, that's great. I'm so happy. But it felt kind of blunt and insincere. When he was out drinking with his buddies, I copied the videos from his dash cam for the days I was away and saw that he had indeed taken the dog out of state and clearly dropped her in front of his car, thrown a Frisbee-like object into a field, yelled fetch, and drove off without her. Long story short, lady has a dog. Husband takes the dog out 
miles away, drops it off. Hundreds of miles away. Hundreds of miles away and drives off without it. Lady gets suspicious, copies the dash cam footage, can somehow catch him dropping the dog off in the dash cam footage. Um, I want you guys to tell me what you would do if you're this lady, and then I'm going to read some comments. I mean, it's definitely grounds for divorce if they're married. Divorce? Divorce, for sure. Yes, I agree. Divorce. You can never trust that man again. Yeah, no. yeah, that's insane. It, the, I also think this is fake, but uh, I'm gonna, I am going to suspend disbelief. And, I, uh, I, hate, I hate it when he says that, because then I feel like a fucking idiot. I can't believe he fell for this, David. so gullible. <laughs> but no, we should, we should go into some, uh, well, some of the I comments, think, maybe. Here's the thing. My girlfriend has a cat and a bird. I love the bird. The cat I love and don't love because she'll climb on my fucking chair and destroy it. She ruins our furniture, but she's very cute and adorable. I've had dreams of just letting the cat go, just opening the door and letting it wander. I would never do that, but I often am pissed at the cat because she's just destroying our stuff. It's not a huge deal. It's knocking over cups. She doesn't do that, actually. She oh, just, okay. like, digs her fucking claws into furniture that a lot of it I've paid for. Mm. I don't like the disrespecting my finances. Yeah, no, I agree. That's fucked up. But that's the difference of an insane man and a sane man is being able to not act on your intrusive thoughts. Yeah, an insane man just has a podcast about it. Right, right, right. <laughs> that's, that's the healthy way to get these thoughts out is on here. Um, uh, I remember... Um, dropping off a cat miles away from our house but it wasn't our cat it was like a stray that was hanging around our house we we're like we're fucking s we had cats and it was like this cat is we're not here to feed this cat we have this other cat that we feed and and so we caught the cat and we took it we probably should have taken it further because that cat it, we only took it like five miles and then it came back it came back and then we're oh. like then we kept it we raised it <laughs> so so there was a happy ending to that story but still i've been i've been a part of this type of action before granted it, my mom spearheaded the whole thing i probably would have been like let's keep the cat but no we uh we tossed that thing in the car and let it out it ran out of that car it was so excited to get out of the car cats hate driving in cars that's unbelievable um Man. But okay, what if the what if the dog was a piece of shit, and the wife also hated it, and you guys were like kind of had an understanding that maybe you guys would go and drop this thing off, and hopefully it didn't. Is that a good idea, or should you just take it to a shelter? I shelter, they're gonna put that shit down. You know what I mean? It's probably gonna die in the wild too. It's gonna get hit by a car. But you know what is what? What's the better option here? I think you can take it to a vet and have it just put down, and that's... I don't like the shelters. Oh, so you don't want to roll the dice on the dog's survival. You're saying just kill it immediately. You don't want to... <laughs> there's Because a shelter, there's an, there's an option that maybe it'll get adopted. Right. But, and then, but then also, if, if you just let it out uh, in a field, there's an option that it'll make a nice cat best friend, and they'll go on adventures to the very end, and they'll make friends with a fox and like an owl and they'll just live in the woods and, and never scowl yo this rap like homeward bound uh yeah relationships profound between a cat and a hound mm -hmm. yeah you know me i love it every time i sound if i found a dog in the street i probably want to keep it and make him my pet but if i found a cat i don't know if i'd want that right it could be It might be bad. sick, it might carry disease These cats, they got fleas, but so do dogs But at least dogs are cuties And I wanna pet them And I don't care if I get bit by the fleas that are on them Shit, humans have fleas Do they? Yeah, on their feet and their knees Yeah, you're right Yeah, you know I might be begging please At the pharmacies for a little bit of a leave <laughs> Some creams yeah, um, um, <laughs> I was gonna say put down the cat if because it's already at an old age or the dog because the, the, she said that the dog was thirteen years old already. Was the dog causing problems? I missed that part of the story. Yeah, was, yeah, they like he works from home now, and the dog's always trying to like sit on his lap and shit. Oh, so the dog was being an asshole. The dog was being a disrespectful this asshole. This guy's a bad person. He was asking for it. <laughs> this guy's a bad person. Sounds like, like a psycho. Dude, yeah. anybody, it, it's it's cliche, and we've all heard this, but the way you treat animals is such a big reflection of who you are. Although, yeah. I, although a lot of people treat animals better than they treat people, and I don't think that's good either. I think you're also fucking shitty in, in that case. <laughs> like, you're able to be all nice to an animal, 
but then you somebody cuts you off in traffic and you're like fucking asshole like there's there's got to be a balance animal didn't cut you off in traffic it's also funny how it's weird to kind of say hi to a stranger if you're walking in the street, but if they have a dog, you'll look down at the dog and be like, hi, baby, and still completely ignore oh, the Alex does, oh, Alex yeah. does that to every yeah. single dog that he sees. Uh, yeah, I'll say hi to the dog and not the guy attached to the dog, for yeah. sure. And then it's unless funny. unless the, the guy attached, if the dog's like really good, I might give him a compliment about, yeah. damn, that's a good dog. Usually he says that to black guys. Okay. That, now, why would that be the case? I was trying to make it. You ain't black. I was trying to make it like a, a fun social thing. I don't know. <laughs> Dave's always here with the fun social ideas. <laughs> I love fun social things. I, I don't, I'm not even going to read you the names of the beats because um, I don't have them written Who down. made them? All Beats by Bass. And no- Dude, just go by Alex Bass. I, I know that Razor already convinced you. To go over to the Bassanova thing. What's wrong with Bassanova? There's another successful, already successful producer, like with with significantly more fame than our guy. Oh well, then yeah, <laughs> you probably should go by Alex. Bass. It's 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 fucked up, but rebranding at this point would be better than. I'm Spot not afraid of other Bassanova. Oh my god, that's such the that's the wrong attitude. It's Dude, a bad marketing. This guy is a bald old fuck that he makes wears EDM music. I literally don't give a fuck about him. I guess if it's I've been calling myself Bassanova since 2018, and I only just made the name change. But I don't care about it. If him. it's a different genre, <laughs> you can sort of get away with that shit. I think. Right, but like, I mean, I guess you can. I, I, I <laughs> guess it, it's fine. Obviously, you're gonna do what you want to do. I just also here's a different angle. How about hip-hop, this? Hip hop producers usually get their bag behind the scenes as well. It you know, doesn't there's really only matter. Like, there's only like five famous guys that make beats you yeah know you're I mean? right you're right they're usually so the names they, don't really matter at the end of the day if i'm on this podcast in a year and i don't have more listeners than him then we could talk about changing my name wow okay that's an awesome goal that's, you know what? that's pretty we'll, good we're gonna schedule that right now <laughs> um, hell yeah <laughs> i just also this is my other angle it's becoming cool in rap to do the full name thing there's a lot of dudes. Well, it's because we, we've run out of rapper names. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is, no one ever really called me Alex my whole life. But I was, I was Bass or Bassy growing up, which is why I was Bassy Beats before. Bassy Beats was good, but yeah. everybody was going to be like Bassy. Exactly. And then that bothered you. Well, when it's you're directly. Perfect. When your uh, profession is directly associated with sound, yeah. you, usually the yeah. BASS, people are going to assume it's pronounced bass. Um, to the my bass. dad fucked with me recently. He's like, "Oh, I forgot to tell you, it actually is bass." That, that's like, a good joke. Alex I bass. was like, "That would have made my life so much easier." <laughs> <laughs> what if you were gassy? That's a heater <laughs> coming from dad. Yeah, that's a good bit. <laughs> Dude, I've hung out with his dad and his mom. They're fucking chill as fuck. That that does sound kind of fun. I would much rather to have been raised by your parents than mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. You know, maybe my trauma is a gift my family gave me. You're just assuming he doesn't have trauma. I'm assuming he has trauma that isn't as severe as mine. <laughs> well, I'm not. I shouldn't have said it like that. I should have I, said. I, I feel like my trauma from growing up maybe didn't necessarily come as much from my parents as like other interactions with people. Exactly. <laughs> Outside of the my family are trauma. Chill. I'll give them that credit. Yeah, they're solid. a lot of fun to hang out with. That's what I'm. Okay, okay. Well, that that rules. I, Dude, I, it's all. I'm always shocked and surprised when I'm when I'm hanging out with a friend and I meet their parents and they're like super fun to be around. I'm like being myself around them. Yeah, and it, they're proud of me. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the whole time I'm hanging like, out with David's my, funny. The whole time I'm hanging out with my parents, I'm like depicting the person they wish I was, sort of, without being like completely fake, but like. I'm actively censoring myself in front of my family. Uh, and no, my parents loved David. They were like fighting for his attention. They were. His mom was like, "I listened to your podcast and it, it was great, but if I could say one thing, the beats, uh, the the horns are too loud. You know what I mean?" She's giving feedback that makes sense, and I can use it in the future. It makes a difference. Yo, yeah. that's so nice. She's so supportive, and my dad, yo, he all he also is supportive. My parents give me so much support But the one thing my mom didn't like the air horn Took her out of the moment So we gotta bring it back 
Sorry, Susan, we can't all be picking and choosing. Well, where we be cruising? Yeah, uh, I need new friends who have better parents than mine, and we can pretend. Yo, mm, I love the encouragement. We don't gotta pretend when I'm over with my friend's parents. Yo, this is his name, and they, his name's Clarence, and they have a really nice marriage. My parents could be your parents too. <laughs> I'm happy to share his cool. <laughs> you know what else is hilarious? Um, the Basses are obviously Jewish, but his dad had just read this book that like makes it the can- Torah. <laughs> yeah, he made us stand up and read it. Um, he had just read a book like making the case for Christianity and why it's like plausible, and he was so like bought in to like the theory in the book. And it was just hilarious. Uh, uh, it was a hilarious situation in which a Jewish man was trying to persuade me about Christianity. <laughs> hey, Jesus was a Jew. Bro. It, I, that's a very good point. You were. Some would say he was the last Jew. Yeah, uh, I, I was worried that he was making you a little uncomfortable because he no, thought no, no, he no, thought no. it was like divine intervention for no, a minute no, no. that he just read that book and then he met you and like yeah, yeah. who your parents are. It, so. it, it was a it was a fun coincidence. No, nobody can make me more uncomfortable than my mother. So no matter who, that's why I'm saying it was a gift because I can go throughout the world knowing that no matter what happens, I will never be more uncomfortable than in my own home. David's mom makes me uncomfortable too. Uh, How do you feel about sticking around for the Patreon episode? Yeah, I'm chilling. Hell yes. We're all chilling. We're all grilling. That was the last beat. Well, thanks for listening, folks. Go do... Uh, if you're on if you're on YouTube right now, uh, like and subscribe, leave a comment. Go to patreon.com forward slash Dome with Bayfomania to continue listening and you know share this. Maybe give it to a, a friend of yours who you think might <coughs> think this is interesting. Yes. On Basanova, the one with hair. What's what's the yeah, dude? Fuck bald people everywhere. <laughs> what's the social tags? Where what should people look up? Basanova Beats, B A S S A N O V A Beats. Hell yes. <laughs> I'm gonna, and that's it. I'm going to link that in the comments. Thanks for listening. Yeah, find me at Bubba Y, B-U-B-B-A-W-H-Y-Y if you need a music video. And uh, I'm really good at those. So Hell please, yeah. work is... I'm going to kill myself if I don't get more work soon. So I heard Lizzo's hiring. Lizzo, <laughs> hook me up. I will use the extra wide angle lens and get all, all of that magic. And he... Um, he has trouble gaining weight you, so you, you guys can be good you can pressure me to do anything <laughs> <laughs> please take me to the strip club and tell me what to do just point at point at the thing and i'll grab it <laughs> she points at her own titty now you're letting me off easy dave okay <laughs>